this is a big thing when you're about to that asking for the date. I hear a lot of women say, oh, it's so hot when a guy takes the lead, has a plan. And I think a lot of guys might butcher that. But, hey, what do you want to do or where do you want to go? Is that a turnoff to women? Uh, yes, it 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 is a turnoff. Um, I don't know if it's a deal breaker necessarily, but it is a turnoff. So the guy that I went on that date with who was divorced um, – you know, that wasn't the best approach, but in that, in that sense, but when we were planning the date or when, you know, I said, do you want to grab drinks? His execution was so perfect and he was such a gentleman the entire time, but he wasn't like a, a gentleman where it was uptight or old fashioned. And I, I wouldn't mind old fashioned, but, uh, I said, you know, I know it's been a long time, but would you want to grab a drink and he said um well i'm in la right now but when i get back i would love to and so we right there planned so he said how's um how's wednesday and i couldn't do wednesday and i said can you do thursday by chance and he said yeah thursday works he said i'll be right back with the plan with our plans and i was like whoa okay cool and so about 10 minutes later he had the restaurant we were going to, its address, the time, and uh, like, uh, I, I I think that was probably it. But it was like just boom restaurant, boom time, boom address. Like, can't wait to meet you. And that was that was the first time I had had a guy do that. And but he did say, but if you don't want to go to this place, you know, I can. Mm -hmm. change you know locations right. but i was like no this is great like that was such that was amazing and that was a turn on and when i got there he aligned with his mannerisms from the internet you know so being a gentleman setting up the date like that and taking care of it mm -hmm. he was so on it with being a gentleman in person and it was so attractive and yeah so Doing the work is much more of a turn on. Um, but again, if you don't do it, I don't know if it's going to just, you know, totally break the, mm -hmm. the deal, but it's definitely not going to do anything to help you earn points. And it's really almost, I hate to say it, but a lot of dating is the woman doesn't know she's doing it and the guy could be doing it as well. I don't know. But a lot of it is point keeping in a way. Women are like, Okay, he did this. Check. Good. Perfect. Okay, he didn't do this. Negative. Oh, but he did this. Okay, that's double check. And they don't know, really, they're really not doing it intentionally. But that's just the way, like, that's just the way mm -hmm. most women's brains are operating. And so I hate to say it's a test. Uh, men always talk about women testing men. I think in general, at the beginning, everything is a test. And like, there's this guy for me, sometimes I just, because I am online dating, I share my own experiences because they're relevant. Um, there's a guy right now that I'm texting with. I haven't met him yet, um, but he's, he's doing a lot of things right, quote unquote. Um, you know, he's being fun. He's being playful. He's got a good sense of humor, but then his grammar is so wrong and I'm like, no, because it's like point, you know, point for that joke, point because that was cute, point because we related on that. And then all of a sudden he's putting spaces between his periods and a space <laughs> between them. And I'm going, oh, my God, no, you're killing that. Like, you're not killing it in a good way. You're killing it in like a, Do a Jeffrey Dahmer way. Like, this is not <laughs> this is not good. Um, this is going to kill the whole thing. And so I tried to make a cute way to point out that he was doing like his grammar wrong he's got a good job he went to college like but i just was like i can't I, I don't know if i can date a guy who doesn't know that this is not how you use a period or use a comma and so he said something because he knows i'm a banter coach and he said how did i do and i said um i said you did great just move the space between the period <laughs> next to the sentence and you get an A plus. And so I thought that made it clear. And he mm -hmm. and 
it was a fun way to do it. And then the next day we were texting and he was doing the grammar the exact same way. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> like you had potential and now you're like you look dumb and I don't yeah. really want to go out with you anymore. So it's like, you know, there are missteps that can, you know, that can seem small to maybe a guy, but to a girl that speaks volumes. It's like, is he, you know, I want to be with someone who's in, who's well-educated and intelligent. He doesn't have to be Einstein. Mm -hmm. Obviously I, Einstein wouldn't really be my type based on his <laughs> hairstyle, but, and the fact that he's dead, but <laughs> um, maybe that would make him my style. Um, but, but be yeah. thoughtful, thoughtful, listening, like taking feedback. Like you see how people respond too when you like throw a little jab at them or a little joke and you see how they take it. All of a sudden you're getting data, you're getting information that like, yeah. whoa, well, they don't have a sense of humor. That's good to know right now. Right, right. And um, I have in my profile um, that I'm a banter coach and then I write, in parentheses next to it yes seriously because people are like what you know what the heck is a banter coach i made i made up the title obviously people would be like what's a banter coach but i do that because i want guys to step up their game when they talk to me online and sometimes it works but it's amazing guys will still just come in with like hey how's your day and i want to be like <laughs> horrible because you clearly don't know how to read <laughs> and read between the lines especially if I'm a banter coach, do you think I want a, hey, how are you? No, mm -hmm. like say something clever. Look at my profile. And mm -hmm. the thing is, um, I don't know if I'm going on a tangent here, but when you just start with a, hey, hi, hello, how's your week? How's your Monday? What you're saying is I'm treating you, the woman, generically. You're not special. You're not different. I'm not reading your profile. I'm not taking into account who you are. I can say this to any woman, anywhere, at any time. And so it doesn't make the woman feel special or feel seen. And we want to feel special. We want to feel seen. So I have a specific way I teach men to open, um, which is kind of a long process. Or to It's a, like a formula, essentially, to find things in her profile that you can kind of connect together and say something about those in a clever way and it's speaking to her and only her the other thing is when a guy opens um with perhaps sharing that they both have a similar hobby like oh you also like skiing that is okay you're taking a little step to say oh, okay i read your profile i see you like skiing but that's level one we want to go to like level four level one is just saying i read your profile and i'm come and i'm just verbalizing it back to you. Okay, boring, but at least mm -hmm. you tried a little something. But you want to give her a reason to care about the fact that you also ski, which means you want to go in with a personality and with something unique and different. And, and then she'll be like, oh, cool, he also skis. That's awesome. Because she likes your personality. But mm -hmm. any Joe Schmo can say they ski. So it's like, okay, cool. I, you know, I also have feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah. giving her a reason to care about the details about you mm -hmm. is the way you want to start a conversation. And I know it sounds vague right now because I'm not giving any um, examples or giving the equation that I use, which I, I can if you want. It's just kind of complex. So I'm kind of holding off waiting for you to invite me to talk more about that if it was something you were interested yes. in. Yes. Or you have to go visit uh, the banter coach. What is your tell us everybody tell everybody your website again so people can find you. So it's Kristen K R I S T E N and Chill. It's like a play on Netflix and Chill, which is ridiculous but so it's kristen and chill.com um and then on instagram it's at the banter coach um and uh i have all the options on my website are right there but if you want to send me if anyone wants to send me a message um feel free to do so through instagram or you can email me at kristen at kristen and chill.com you better bring it on that first message too, because Kristen is looking for uh, looking for you to come in strong. Some guys really do; they really do open their emails in a way that I'm like, "Whoa, okay, all right." They're really trying to show me that they've got they've they've been listening. <laughs>